It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty. Stop eating dirty. Stop expecting every day to go your way. Life does not work that way. I wish it did. Anyone watching right now, supporting this channel, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, um, just just anyone who tells me that I affect their lives in a good way and, and, and that bought merchandise and everybody that shows me support, I truly get off this camera and I wish that y'all doing well. I wish that your life is going well. I hope that you're not upset. I hope that you're not sad or angry. I hope you understand it's only one life we get to live. But I do understand that life sometimes, it could suck. You know what I'm saying? And though you, you know, that might be blasphemous to say because, you know, you're living, so it should be great. But we know that life just doesn't work that way. It gets tough, but it does get better. Just let's not try to dwell on the bad things and the bad moments because the tough times don't last. Don't last. Tough people do. And I truly love that saying and I truly believe it because the tough times, it's only temporary. Even if that temporary seems like it's lasting for longer than you wanted to, you can't put a time limit on things that are meant for you. And if you're going through that tough time, I really truly be that. Oh my God. So I'm watching all these easy to block captain um, interviews, not interviews, but blogs and everybody talking about easy to block captain and the hitman battle. And like basically in so many words, I'm gathering that Easy is not supposed to do this battle, right? And I want to get into more detail in my next blog on like some facts that I came across as far as like what actually he's allowed to do or not allowed to do as far as his contract goes. So I don't want to like spoil it all right now, but I do want to say this much. If, if hypothetically speaking, URL does not work with Easy to Block Captain anymore after taking this hitman battle in which they don't want him to take he's not supposed to take right well you know they'll play a professional they'll be like you know it's not like we didn't want him to take it it's just you know we, we we're a business we go by the contracts we get it easy to block captain is an absolute star he's the hottest name in battle rap right now even the even if you thought of the second hot because you could see new jersey twerk is like trying to build back to where but it is what it is i feel like the twerk situation i truly feel like it's caught up to him a little bit like he has star power but it's like i really feel like he doesn't have that same yo he could do no wrong in our eyes i kind of feel like he let people down enough times to where it's like nah we ain't gonna let you solve one or two battles like we gonna we need like five solid from you which he possesses the power in order to do so Rum Nitty is always going to be a star, right? But you have Rum Nitty is kind of like, Rum Nitty needs a certain opponent to truly carry an entire card as him the main event. He could do it with Conceited, he could do it with Cassidy. You see what I mean? A certain opponent, that's that's like a Rum Nitty. Geechee Gotti, he ran battle rap for a very, very long time. Right now, he's he's slowing down. He's, focusing on, he's going to start focusing on other things. You know that's what's going to happen. Then you have other names, but what I'm saying is no matter who's coming in second and third, that gap between first and second is pretty deep. And easy to block captain is, is, is holding that first place crown. Now I say that to say this. When easy, if it went easy, doesn't battle on URL no more. They need a new star, a new person that they're gonna push this, push this brand behind. Everybody has their moments, everybody has their runs. Who's it going to be? The closest person you, you might think of right now, write in the comments, but I'm telling you right now, B. Dot's comeback is going to be the push that he's always deserved and wanted, the money he always deserved and wanted, and he's going to finally have a lane where he can carry this brand for his moment in battle rap. Everybody has their moments I truly feel like this is B Dot's moment. If B, first of all, B Dot has been gone for so long that the anticipation for his comeback is crazy no matter what. You put B Dot right, mind you, Surf was gonna battle B Dot before um, B Dot. Well, well B, that battle didn't happen way before Surf got locked up. So like it was something beat I was focused on his music and there was something about his personal life. I don't want to like chop and screw like the facts or things that he might have went been going through or was going through. So I don't want to do that. But for whatever reason, beat I left battle rap, but that happened before Surf did. So he kind of like in the sense of just looking at battle rap and not his personal life, he dropped the ball 
with the surf battle. Cause that, you know what I'm saying? Surf is a superstar. You battle through surf, your career could either go up or down, point blank period. You see it right now, it is what it is. Now, what I wanna say, now I wanna say about this is B Dot needs to come back and he needs to come back right now. Who would B Dot go again? I like B Dot versus Twerk. I think that'll be a dope battle. I really would, would do feel like that'll be a dope battle. I feel like whoever B Dot actually wants or is asking for him, he deserves to get. Did B Dot battle Daylight already? Because that'll be B Dot versus. See, what I'm saying is no matter what you want to do, no matter who you want to mix him up with, B Dot is the name right now that can carry these cards. I truly believe any bat. You know what's funny about the twerk battle? If you put B Dot versus twerk, that's going to be one of those incredible twerks. Like, you know how, like, he just. He has like those moments, like that 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 Tay Rock battle, the chess battle was really dope. The Charlie Clips battle, one of my favorite battles of all time. Period. Him and Clips, like this is like, I feel like this is battles that's like, like that'll be a battle for the ages. You know what I'm saying? I don't B Dot never battled Tay Rock, did he? That's a battle right there. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of battles that B Dot can take and carry this league and these cards. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, uh, salute to Briz, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I did a lot of like talking on Briz over the years on this channel just because I just don't like the wishy washiness of you actually saying out your own mouth you're going to come back, then don't. I think that's weird. I think the mystery, if the mystery just carried over without people saying anything, but if you're sitting there saying, yeah, I'm going to come back and, and then like talking about cards and dissing rappers and you're like trying to be a part of the culture but not i thought that was a little dirty but at the end of the day i still feel like his comeback would be like you put briz versus b dot that is a that's a monumental battle it's a comeback for both of them you haven't seen neither one of them in quite some time no matter when briz comes back we all gonna watch it same with b dot and what i'm saying is this now me thinking that that Easy's gonna start taking his talents elsewhere to other leagues because Smack, um, you know what I'm saying, they didn't want him to take this battle. I feel like there's a lane for a new star to be created, and who better than B Dot? I don't know what's going on, B Dot, right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel like his return is gonna be something, man. Like he has just like this skill level to him. He's his rapidy rap skill is one of the best. You could argue he rapidy raps better than anyone in um battle rap. Then the way he takes the angles on you and like really, really like in depth breaks you down. Like there's a lot of angle battlers, but the way B Dot does it is truly special. And like I said, man, I'm just here today in the gym. Um, my focus wasn't really too well today. Uh, you know, every day is not going to be able to go the way you want it to go. You know, I, I had like high hopes for this workout to go well. You know, I wanted to hit heavy chest today. Um, I wanted to hit a lot of cardio today and I really was sluggish in the workouts. Again, it has to do with sleep, nutrition, whatever it is. I can make excuses all day. Just today wasn't my day. Tomorrow will be though. And, I, and I'm confident in that. And maybe tomorrow won't be. And I'm, I, and you know what? Maybe then Tuesday will be. But I know it'll get better. And that's what I, the message I want to leave with y'all and I started this with is that it'll get better. You know what I mean? I truly feel with a pure heart, a pure mind, a good mentality pushing forward in this world, only good could eventually happen to you. And though it might take some time, it will happen. You know what I'm saying? Live your life positive. Try to help people. You know, the other day, man, I hopped out of my car and, at a red light and like because like I seen this... um you know, less fortunate person, you know, on the side of the road. And I hopped out and gave him $40. And I, that might've been the most I ever even gave, gave just a random, like, you know what I'm saying? I've done like, I've added, you know, I put money towards like donations and I don't, we donate uh, clothes all the time and um, um, different, you know, churches and things of that nature over time. You know what I'm saying? That my family do, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 but this was like, you know, straight cash. Just like, I just, I don't know why, man. I just felt the moment be, Understand that your life is is good. And I'm not saying, oh, $40, Jim, like it changes life. I'm just saying it made me feel good. Doing well for others makes you feel good. I'm telling you. Hatred and, and, spreading, and, and spreading bad energy on other people, it's never going to surpass the good, the good deeds you'll do for people. How great that means. I'm telling you, man, it's like a gift in itself. Just that feeling, that smile. Like th th this guy's response, literally when I hand him the money, like I had the 20s like split like this. And he literally said, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, man, you know, that's for you. And, I, and I, he's like, oh, man, you know, thank you so much. And I was like, it'll get better, man. I promise you it'll get better. And, like, we held that moment, and it, and it was huge for me. And You know what I mean? And 
And uh, yeah, man, go out there and do good deeds. But yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm get uh, I'm gonna get up out of here. Tomorrow's gonna be a better day. Got more blogs coming for you. Me and ARP are uh, supposed to link up soon. You know what I'm saying? Um, to hitch out with another series. You know how we do. Any questions you want me and ARP to talk about? Any questions for him? Any questions you want me to answer? Let me know right in the uh the uh uh, uh the comments, and uh, I'll get right to it, man. Appreciate y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stop being dirty.